This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. I've got a little first impressions video to share with you today concerning this guitar, a Les Paul copy. As you can see, it is, if we look at the headstock, an artist guitar, uh, namely the Artist AP59. Um, I've owned an Artist guitar before, it was the TC59, which was like a twin humbucker, Telecaster kind of thing, and I loved the way it played, I loved the way it looked, I just could never quite get away with the tones it produced, though. it just never really grabbed me, I never really bonded with it, so I, I got rid of it. Um, this guitar doesn't belong to me, it belongs to a very kind chap called Dave, who, um, well, yesterday was the, uh, the much vaunted Red Car Mageddon event, as it got dubbed, I might add, not by me. Basically, a, a bunch of you chaps turned up in Red Car, and uh, we had a few beers, we had quite a few, we had a lot of beers, to be honest, and then we went on for a spectacular curry at uh, Bengal Spice in Red Car, and a fine time was had by all, including Dave, who brought this guitar with him and said, um, do you want a loan of the guitar and um, make some videos with it? So, of course, I uh, took him up on the offer, and that's what today is about. This is just, as I say, a first impressions video. We're going to listen to some uh, sounds that the guitar makes, and then coming up on Sunday, there'll be like the usual full review with the, the guitar checked out in a mix and all the weights and measures and everything that I usually do these days um so i'll put a link to the full spec down in the description but it's all of the uh, usual kind of uh, recipe here mahogany uh, body set mahogany neck uh, carved maple top with a rather nice uh maple veneer on top the fretboard is something that on the website is referred to as eco rosewood i have no idea what that is um, it looks a lot like ebony. You don't really see a lot of wood grain in this. So I'm thinking, is it the same sort of stuff as uh, what that, that kind of reconstituted wood that Gibson were using for some of their fretboards? Uh, what they call it, rich light or something, wasn't it? Uh, might be some kind of uh, material like that. You get a set of um, uh, artists' own um, locking tuners and um, their bull bucker pickups now they were the weak point i thought in the uh, the tc59 i found those pickups very dark and muddy sounding so we'll see if these are the same uh, on the uh, volume controls you get a single coil switching so we'll have a quick listen to what those sound like and if you want to own this guitar uh, or one of these guitars they are out of stock at the moment but you can uh, ask artist guitars to uh, notify you when the back in stock and should uh, should you choose to uh, go down that route one of these guitars um, will cost you 319 pounds and that includes a hard case as well which we'll have a look at uh, very shortly but you're here because you want to hear what this sounds like so uh, first of all bridge pickup volume control all the way up humbucker mode we get this kind of sound <laughs> Let's see the neck pick up. I should just add, by the way, that as usual, I'm plugged into the uh, Blue Guitar Amp 1 Mercury Edition on the Vintage Channel, uh, which is giving us that nice kind of martially sort of tone. Uh, one thing that I really do like to uh, have on a guitar are volume controls that work, that you can turn the volume control down and you get the uh, a cleaner sound. So let's see if that works on this guitar. Thank you. 
Yeah, I am noticing uh, that these that the tuning is a little bit wobbly on this. I think these are new strings and they haven't been stretched in, so uh, apologies for that. I will make sure that by the time Sunday comes and I'm doing the uh, full review that uh, the tuning is a little bit more stable. Let's try that same thing again on the bridge pickup. So volume uh, rolled back a bit and see if that cleans up in the same way. It's kind of doing the thing, isn't it? It's it's getting getting close to that sort of uh, Telecaster on steroids kind of thing that is often uh, you know kind of spoken about in Les Paul uh, parlance. Let's have a listen now to what the uh, the single coil switching does. So back to the neck pickup and pull the switch out and let's have a listen. You know, it sounds exactly like what it is. It's a humbucker that's been chopped in half, but it's it, it. You know, it'll sit in a mix in the same way that a single coil would. Let's try the same thing on the bridge pickup. I do apologise. As I said, there was a lot of beer. Uh, kind of went down the hatch last night and uh, you're seeing possibly some of the effects of that now but yeah um, I've got to tell you I'm I'm liking these pickups in this guitar much more than I did in the uh, the TC-59 the, the twin humbucker telecaster thing these are I think the same pi bull booker pickups uh, that artists uh, ship on the guitars um, this is a much nicer guitar than in terms of the sound uh, than the than the TC fifty nine, you know, um, I wouldn't don't think I would if this was my guitar. I don't think I would want to mod it. Uh, one mod or a couple of mods that uh, Dave has done to this guitar, nothing, uh, you know, kind of outlandish. But he doesn't like the font that's written on the poker chip, so he's reversed that. Uh, so now it doesn't say anything. We know what this does. We don't need you know kind of labels on there and um the other thing he likes is he likes the kind of break angle over the bridge that top wrapping gives you but he doesn't like the way that that tends to scar the top of the uh, tailpiece so if i just hold this up this way you can probably see this little mod that he's done here um if you look there you can see there is a nut that is that he's put in there which raises the tailpiece up to give that sort of shallower break angle over the top. I'm just looking at these bridge saddles as well, actually, now I'm seeing them. I think they're brass bridge saddles, which is a nice touch. Um, so, yeah, I think he said it's an M8 nut, which fits perfectly onto the posts of any of the, um, you know, metric measurement guitars that are made in various parts of Asia. Um, <clears throat> Playability-wise, it's a nice, uh, slinky, uh, low action um, I've just been having a little bit of a noodle around with it before I made this video and I can't find any dead spots or choking off anywhere, no kind of nasty sharp fret ends, anything like that. It has got the high gloss poly finish on the back of the neck, which isn't a deal breaker for me, but I do prefer satin, but you can turn this uh, finish into a satin finish in a matter of minutes using some wire wool or something of that nature just to kind of uh, take the, the glossiness off it and um, so I don't think it should be a deal breaker for anybody really it's a really nice guitar I'm really impressed one of these I think did I've mentioned this earlier yeah one of these will cost you uh, 319 pounds uh, when they're back in stock and um, as I say that includes a case let's just uh, go and grab the case so I can show you what that's like this is the case a pretty substantial affair you know, um, I would say probably on a par with the, the, the kind of hard cases that you get with some of the uh, more high-end Epiphones. It's branded as an artist case. Um, you know, it's it's going to do the job of protecting the guitar, isn't it? And, you know, you've got the nice sort of plush lining there. Um, 
I mean, three hundred and nineteen pounds for any any guitar that is that kind of quality. I would say is you know a nice a nice deal, but the fact that it includes a case like that, um, you know, that's a, that's a bargain. Uh, no wonder they're out of stock. Um, yeah, I am impressed with this uh, nice little guitar, this Artist TC59. So what I'm going to do, as I probably mentioned, is on Sunday I'm going to do a full shakedown of it. You know, record a piece of music in a mix where you'll hear clean tones, overdriven tones, whatever, all, all the usual kind of tones that you want to get out of any electric guitar uh, in a mix. And uh, we'll do all the usual weights and measures, neck profile, how much does it weigh, uh, nut width, all of that usual sort of stuff, pickup readings everything of that nature and uh, that'll be the video that's coming up on sunday but for now uh, those are my first impressions of the artist ap59 in apricot burst i'm impressed and uh, i want to say a massive thank you to dave for loaning me the guitar it is uh, incredibly generous of you and um, yeah i don't I, I don't need to get another guitar i really don't i don't i don't need another guitar i, I don't Anyway, to be continued. That's the video for today, folks. Those are my first impressions of that guitar. Make of them what you will. Hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time. We drink beer and talk about music and guitars. Great way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now